Welcome back everybody to my channel. My name is Anastasia Harris and today I'll be sharing how I started cross-dressing and just how it naturally came to me and I'm going to sh be sharing it while I do my makeup for you. So I'm going to begin by sharing, oh, there goes my liquid lipstick by KVD. First, I'm going to put some, um, before I put my foundation on, I'm going to put my primer. So I'm using a Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. This is to hydrate my skin before I put on all of that heavy makeup on. Not really heavy actually, only do a few things. So first I'm just gonna moisturize my face, make sure it's good. And now I'm gonna talk about how I began cross-dressing and how it is a passion to me and how it naturally formed into my life and how it healed me and yeah basically what happened was while growing up I would be fascinated by women's bodies and I'd be fascinated by dresses high heels and just the whole sort of feminine body figure and the role it plays um, being feminine means you nurture, you have responsibilities, you, you're you more of a preacher in a way, you're more humble. Um, you want to nurture people and you want to make sure people do good. Um, that's the feminine role and um, that's why it really, that's why I really, um, that's why the feminine role really intrigued me. It's because it has lots of responsibility and I feel like I'm an old soul as well, where I feel like I'm much more mature at my age than others. And um, I don't really like to have like stupid fun. I don't really like going out to clubs. I do like having a fun time, but I'm not that kind of person who just gets like stupid drunk. I like to choose where I drink or like, I like to choose what activities I do. So that's the type of person I am. And growing up, I would just, Look at uh, famous women's bodies. One of them would be Miley Cyrus. I loved her body because she was just so beautiful and I like how she had her hair like the tomboyish style. So it really inspired me to believe that I can have that type of um, feminine figure. So that was important for me too. Other people I looked at, um, Megan Fox was one. Who else was I looking at? Dua Lipa has a really nice body, um, Selena Gomez as well, Lady Gaga is a big fan of mine, I love her fashion style, I love how she dresses, so that's one big, I'm a big fan of Lady Gaga's, and yeah, it just began from there, I, be, I was just so fascinated by uh, women's bodies, and I really wanted to have a body like that, and I would just daydream every single day. I'd look on the internet and daydream every single day about having a beautiful, just beautiful, stunning body like that. And it wasn't until I was about, I would say I finished high school when I really, it started to hurt so bad where I just couldn't be myself and I wanted to be myself, but I felt so scared to do it because I've, I felt like my friends were going to laugh, my um, family was going to laugh at me, and that's what I didn't want at that time. I wasn't ready for their response or their reaction. One thing I can say is it doesn't matter if you're ready or not. They have no reason to judge you at all and no reason to pick on you. If they do, then you just got to get new friends or you got to you gotta move somewhere. You got to figure out what's right for you, right? You don't want to hide something that you're so passionate about. And I, that destroyed me. It really destroyed me because I didn't want to hide wearing a dress. I didn't want to hide wearing makeup. I didn't want to hide wearing high heels. Those are the things that I didn't want to, like, that's me. So why would I want to hide something like that, right? Sure, people won't understand you. And that's just because you're unique and they've never seen someone like you. So take that as a compliment, actually. Take it as a compliment because... They've never seen anybody like you, so they're going to be wild. They're going to have a new reaction towards you, right? So, and if you're wondering where I got my uh, MAC foundation, I got it from Sephora. I believe MAC foundation is best for 
more masculine body tones. I just feel like it has really good coverage. And it has like that photo finish thing. So makes your skin look really good for the photo. And back to my story. So yeah, ever since I was just started looking at women's bodies and it, I appreciated them and um, started wearing dresses. <laughs> the first time I probably, it was my mom's dress. I tried on my mom's dress actually without really telling her, I just borrowed it. And to be honest, I was really scared, but it just felt natural. It felt like me. It felt like I wanted that's who I wanted to be and that's who I wanted to be expressed as and um, sure it felt like bliss and joy but I was so scared of other people's opinions and what they would say to me and maybe I'd lose friends maybe I'd lose family but all of that didn't matter as long and forgot to say that all that doesn't matter as long as you're happy and you choose to be you all that other stuff won't matter you want to be the same side as your your mind wants to be the same side as your heart and by doing that you can do things at an optimal level pace and you can live your dreams right if your mind and heart are not on the same team then you're gonna have troubles with depression and anxiety and that's just your heart telling you you got to change to be you right um and uh, when I started buying my first, when I started buying my first dresses, I actually went to the thrift store. I went to all the thrift stores and I was so scared. Like I just couldn't go and just pick out a dress. I had to wait until everybody leaves the aisle. I had to, I was so just scared and that was so bad of me to do because all I was doing was just being myself, right? It doesn't matter who looks at you. Really, it doesn't matter. You got to. I got to stop caring about other people's opinions, which I sort of did now, but I want to relay that information back to my audience. Just be you as long as you don't harm anyone, as long as it doesn't harm anyone, as long as you're being you and you're expressing your authentic self. That's all that matters in this world, your happiness and just growing with others. So yeah, I bought my first dress and my first articles of clothing, my first hot pair of high heels as well at a thrift store. It was used, they're quite dirty, but I just was so happy that I had a pair. Of course I had to hide them. I put them in, I put them in my backpacks so my mom and dad couldn't see. And it was a tough time, it really was. When they would go to work, that's the only time I had to really dress up and have fun. And it was just years like that. It was like a cycle of depression, throwing out my clothes, then buying them back again, throwing them out. And it was just this cycle of depression and anxiety, which never ended because I never got to experience my true authentic self, right? And the day I fixed that, like I told my mom and she supported me for it. It wasn't easy to tell because once again, it's new to her, right? having a son who puts on a dress like like bro like it's gonna be a chit chat you know what I mean sure it's gonna be new to them but the way you communicate it matters if you communicate it properly they'll understand you and they and they'll help support you they'll help you they'll come buy new dresses with you like that's important that your family can do these things with you the one hard thing was with my dad like he didn't really accept me and nor like did he want to and that's okay right as long as i let him know my authentic truth and i let him know who i am that's all that matters for me it's out of my control what he does or like what he believes so that's also an important piece of information that i'd like to give really hard for me to bond with my dad that way we still have a great relationship and he still respects me but um yeah there's just it wasn't the best of conversations with him and that's okay it happens, right? Not everyone's supposed to mesh with you. Other than that, um, I did the biggest change I noticed, like you'll notice a huge change with just how people treat you and how people react to you now. That when you, after you tell them, they'll react to you differently. They'll start to treat you a little differently. And that's just because of the um, perspective in life and what they believe, right? They're gonna treat you 
how their perspective is catered to normal 